Now, New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. It only gets worse from here. This here, a live look at New York City where the rain is starting to pick up. The powerful storm system we've tracked all week made its way up the East Coast and is now starting to batter our area. Heavy downpours, flooding, downed wires and trees, power outages, and major travel delays. There is a strong chance that's what we'll face tomorrow morning. We have team coverage tonight. We'll check the conditions in communities with a history history of flooding. We examine how the city is preparing and we look at some of the problems this storm has already caused farther south. I'm Joe Torres with meteorologist Jeff Smith. Jeff, you said this storm's intensity would pick up right about now, but it's overnight when we go from bad to worse. Yeah, really, the brunt of this, if we were to specify time, would be mm -hmm. probably midnight to about 7 o'clock in the morning. So that extends into the very early part of the commute. And that's going to be a big problem for tomorrow morning. It's a no brainer that we're going to get two to four inches of rain across much of the area. And that's why we do have a flood watch, which lasts right into Monday afternoon. This is a triple threat storm. We're talking about flooding from rainfall, wind, and also coastal flooding. There's those high Tuesday morning before we clear things out. It's a cooler day shaping up on Tuesday. But an AccuWeather alert for tonight turning very windy out there, mild with rain heavy at times, areas of flooding and difficult travel. Travel not recommended overnight. Those winds eventually gusting 50 to 60 miles per hour into the wee hours of the morning. Windy, mild rain mainly early tomorrow. Areas of flooding likely for that morning commute. Watch for the coastal flooding during the time of high tide around midday. Could be a rain or snow shower late tomorrow night into early Tuesday morning and then a decidedly quieter pattern Wednesday and beyond. First day of winter, by the way, Thursday, but 48 degrees, we can handle that. Brittany Bell and Danny Beckstrom will be handling the storm early tomorrow morning. You got it. Yeah. That is the news for now. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Joe Torres. As he just said, remember, Eyewitness News, yes, starts tomorrow morning a half hour earlier. It starts at 4 a.m. The team will track the storm throughout the night and into the morning commute. Be safe, everyone, and have a great night.